Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about why does being, why is being the only thing that brings us joy in our lives? So this is this interesting thing. You know, we think that the achievements and for a long time, even in a kind of misuse of law of attraction or misuse of the secret, the idea was we want stuff. We want the money. We want the material stuff or we want the stuff of the ambition realm. We want the fame. We want uh, the popularity. We want every the power. And, you know, it's like we're we're charging over for the wrong treasure. Those are the treasures that don't make us happy. Because as human beings, as human beings, what really makes us happy is this state of expansion. That's where joy happens. That's where love happens. That's where gratitude and compassion happens and this feeling of interconnection to everything. Whenever we're in that state of being, that state of connection, we're totally happy. We're just blissed out. We feel great. Whenever we drop back into the lower levels of money, materialism, power, competitiveness, etc., ambition, we immediately drop into this lower vibrational, uh, egoic goals. Now, a lot of people do have goals. And I think there's a time in people's lives when goals are a part of the, a part of the learning. You know, if, if we just got to our twenties and we're like, okay, I'm done. I'm just going to be, we wouldn't have those going back a couple uh, podcasts ago. We wouldn't have those rich experiences because certainly when we have, uh, dreams for our lives, those dreams to reach those dreams, we're going to have all kinds of experiences. We're going to have really positive experiences. We're going to have really negative experiences. We're going to have success. We're going to have failure. We're going to have the whole thing as we're working towards our dreams, our goals. And so there's a lot of learning there. And yet at the same time, if our dreams are again in that lower vibrational sphere of money, materialism, uh, power, and I can't remember the other one, but you you know this idea of these egoic goals. We're gonna go kind of go to the end of those and go. Why did I even? What well, what was the point of all that? Because when you finally get to this more mature state, you know, just getting up and having your day in the simplest way possible is just this wonder filled wonderful, wonderful existence. Every little thing is connected to everything else. It's just kind of mind-blowing. So think about that idea. Think about the idea that being is the only way to get to joy, and it's also the only way to get to peace. Those are kind of the same things, different words. States of serenity and calm. Being, not doing in that, those lower vibrational states, the money, the power, the money, the materialism, the power, the ambition. Those things don't take you there. Do them for the state of having experiences. Or maybe that's a soul's calling you're here to do. That's your task. That's super valid. But when you take it to the other extent, which our mainstream stream culture tells us, you gotta have the most money. You gotta have the most, the biggest house. You gotta have the top job. You gotta be the most powerful, the most popular. Hmm. Those are ways of feeling separate from everyone else, aren't they? Instead of one with everyone else, which is what we truly are. 
All right, we're working from the book, Messages from the Divine, and more teachings to come. I'm Sarah Wiseman.